This Friday, 23-year-old Alex Haunty will receive the Young Philanthropist of the Year Award from the Madison Chapter of the Association of Fundraising Professionals, or AFP. Alex has a cognitive disability, but a few years ago he started painting. His painting sold, and what he does with the money is inspiring. That way you're keeping enough paint on there to really drop a good dot. Chris Hindle is an artist mentor at Artworking, a studio for adult artists with cognitive disabilities. Alex Haunty is one of his students. His path to the canvas, an unlikely one. Four years ago, at age 19, after hardly ever taking up a brush, okay. Alex started painting. And what I like about like painting is that it's just, and it's just fun to paint for me, and it's fun expressing when I, and I paint. When I paint, come down here to paint, and, and it's just fun for me. But then also. When I'm painting, I feel like I'm also expressing my own oh, feelings and now I'm feeling inside of me and putting it out on the canvas. These are Alex's first two pieces, gifts to his mother. Wow, I didn't know you had all those emotions. I didn't know how, and it was just so much more beyond his ability to say it was painting. And he kept painting and painting and painting. A childhood mentor, Kathy Ostrom, encouraged Alex to paint and arranged a show at a gallery in Middleton. Alex's painting sold out. It is very remarkable. And, I mean, we are really honored. But, I mean, it's amazing that he has so much um, inside. I now hesitate to say we won't do something. <laughs> right now, Alex is working on six large pieces that will be hung in the hallway between the UW Hospital and the American Family Children's Hospital, a commission any artist would be proud to get. Oh, and there's one more thing. As much as Alex loves painting, there is another passion, Broadway musicals. What's your favorite? The Phantom of the Opera. Why? Because of the chord that uh, they do for the Phantom. Alex lights up. His dream is to play the role of the Beast in Beauty and the Beast, a dream hatched on a family trip to New York to see Broadway shows. You know, when you have a son with disabilities or a daughter, you know, they have dreams just like everybody else. When they watch a show, they want to be Mary Poppins or Bert or, you know, Raoul or Phantom, I and mean, they want to be the lead. They don't want to be somebody on the side, you know. Now, Alex and his family have taken his love of art and Broadway musicals and started a nonprofit. Alex takes the money he makes from his artwork and buys tickets for students with disabilities to see Broadway shows at Overture. The more he paints, the more friends he can take to the show. Beauty and the Beast, Mary Poppins, Sister Act, and 64 people to see Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, all for money he makes from his art. Working on right now with uh, raising money for the Lion King in uh, May and June next year, and I'm gonna take four different groups and see it three different nights. <laughs> the staff at Overture even asked Alex to make a piece to honor philanthropists Pleasant Rowland and Jerry Frouchy, who made the Overture Center possible. Talk about taking a bow, Alex. He really helps people see the world of people with disabilities. He is, he opens their heart and then he shows them the geniuses that are inside. There are, there are pockets of genius in, in every person. Genius on the inside. Alex is a busy guy, he has a couple of part-time jobs. He's also enrolled in a program at Edgewood College and he has numerous speaking engagements. If you're interested in buying prints or greeting cards, he has sets of greeting cards that you can get and prints, they're all online. Expiring art, inspiring art by Alex. Dot com. He is amazing. Yeah, he really is. That is incredible. And, just, and to use that money to take other cognitive disability people to see a Broadway show. Oh, that is so wonderful. You know, maybe there's a, there's a hidden pianist in there somewhere. There, there, there's a lot of <laughs> things going on You're there. You're so right. His face just lights up when he talks about it. That yeah. is remarkable. I'm looking forward to meeting him on Friday. Yeah, he'll, be a, he'll get the award on Friday. The, the luncheon, however, is sold out. So you'll be hosting. I will. And I'll be I there. I will. Alex, that's so wonderful. I can't wait to yeah. meet you.